Hello students, I am Teacher Shelly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this evening is a rainy evening, but I guess I need to record this videos for you. Okay, so uh, this will be this video is a continuation video about animal tissues. You already um, know that your animal tissues is uh, mainly composed of four types epithelial tissues, your connective tissues, muscle tissues, and of course, your nervous tissues. For tonight, yes, for tonight, we will be discussing about the muscle tissues, okay? So in your muscle tissues, how are you going to define muscle tissues? Anyone? Okay, as you all know, okay, your muscle tissues is composed of cells that have the special ability to shorten or contract in order to produce movement of the body parts, okay? What are those body parts? Your hands, your upper limbs, your lower limbs, your legs, for example, okay? So the tissue is highly cellular, and is well supplied with blood vessels. I think you will learn later on in your anatomy physiology subject that your muscle tissues will really consume a lot of oxygen during a strenuous activity. When you say strenuous activity, once you do exercise, for example, then you consume your muscles, your muscle cells, and your muscle tissues will really consume a lot of oxygen, okay? So later on, you will learn that in your anatomy physiology. So let me continue. Muscle tissue can be categorized into your skeletal muscle tissue, smooth muscle tissue, and your cardiac muscle tissue. What would be the difference between those three? types of muscle tissue. So first, okay, we have here a lot of pictures, okay, for your skeletal muscle tissue. Your skeletal muscle tissue are made up of very long cylindrical multinucleated cells capable of quick and forceful contractions that are usually voluntary, okay? As you can see here, it's a long cylindrical or cylinders, multinucleated, okay? In every cell, there's a lot of nucleus, right? Multinucleated, okay? Capable of quick and forceful contractions because your skeletal muscles or the muscle tissues that are attached to your skeletal system, to your bones, okay? So it should be capable of quick and forceful contractions, just like when you reach something that is far away from you, right? If you have your reflex, for example, if someone throw um, a or a ruler to you, for example, and then you have you will you will have your reflex, right, to 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 block that particular object that is coming right in front of you. So it should your muscle tissue sh should be capable of quick and forceful contractions, right? Um, it is controlled voluntarily. When you say it is controlled voluntarily, mm, you know or you are aware that you wanted to block that particular object that is coming from you. So it's voluntary. You, you, it is being controlled by your central nervous system. When you say you, your central nervous system, it is composed of your brain and your spinal cord, right? Next, for the interactions, okay? Interactions of the thin and thick filaments of your skeletal muscles make it possible for them to slide through each other during muscle contraction, okay? 
So that's it for the skeletal muscle tissue. As you can observe here, um, this is a typical drawing, okay? <laughs> okay, drawing from your artists, of course. It's an artist's... Um, uh, it's an artist's observation based on what have uh, what he or she has seen under the microscope. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a long cylinder with striations. Okay, the lines here are your striations. Okay, I forgot to mention that a while ago. So next, we have second, we have your cardiac muscle tissue. Okay, are composed of elongated branched individual cells when you say branched as you can observe here there is a branching mechanism in your cardiac muscle tissue it looks like a crooked letter h right okay just like here in this one if you could see the the mouse then i'm pointing it uh, at the branch of uh, at the branch of your cardiac muscle tissue okay configured parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. Just like in your skeletal muscle a while ago, it's also parallel. But in this cardiac muscle tissue, um, as you can observe, it's parallel, but it is um, branches, right? Okay. So let's look some other pictures here. Here, as you can see here, there is a... Um, elongated it's elongated cells okay as you can see but there is some branching right just like here another picture here okay so there's a branching okay so this is um an artist's um, observation okay so okay so there's a lot of pictures here of course when you say cardiac muscle tissue Mm, they are capable of involuntary, vigorous, and rhythmic contractions. Your cardiac muscle tissue is seen in your heart, right? That's why it is the name cardiac muscle tissue, right? Cardiac means heart, okay? So when you say involuntary, you don't need to tell your heart to beat, right? Unless if you're dead already, of course, your heart will no longer beat. Okay, but um, um, your cardiac muscle tissues really are vigorous and has um, rhythmic contractions. Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. That's the normal sound of your heart, right? If you will use um, your stethoscope you, during your auscultation later on, then you will hear your um, normal beating of your heart as lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. So that's why it was stated here that it's, it has a rhythmic contractions, okay? And lastly, the third one, the third um, category of your muscle tissue would be your smooth muscle tissue, okay? As you can observe, as the name implies, it's smooth, right? <laughs> okay, just like in this one, it's smooth muscle tissue. Again, this is an artist's um observation under the microscope they just drew it okay just for us to have a um uh clear visualization of what is hidden in this particular picture under your slide for example under your microscope for example then you will have a simple representation here right as you can observe okay so your smooth muscles or your smooth muscle tissues are collections of cells that do not show striations, okay? As you can observe, um, when you say striations, you will visibly observe this in your um, skeletal muscle tissue. You have some lines here, right? You have some um, vertical lines here, correct? As well in your cardiac muscle tissues a while ago. So you can also see striations just like um, just like in this one okay some of the pictures are not too visible uh, i mean the striations are not too visible but here you have here um your striations correct 
So your skeletal and your cardiac muscle tissues has the presence of striations. Okay, unlike your um, smooth muscle tissue, excuse me, okay, unlike your muscle tissues, uh, smooth muscle tissues, guys, so it has no striations, okay? They are lar largest at their midpoints, okay? Midpoints and tapered toward their end or fusiform in shape spelling f u s i f o r m fusiform in shape i'll type it here okay i'll type it here guys so that you can um see the spelling fusiform ah okay fusiform that's it okay so that's the spelling. Okay, so oops. Okay, so we have here. Here you have here fusiform in shape. The nucleus, as you can observe here, it's um centrally located, right? Okay. Examples of smooth muscle tissues are in your digestive tract okay their contraction process is slow of course in your digestive tract you can um you can see the movement called um peristalsis okay i'll type the spelling here so that you can um know the spelling peristalsis okay that's the spelling okay so their contraction process is slow. So your peristaltic movement in your digestive tract is slow. That's why you can't um, observe it if you're walking, for example. You really can't, uh, can't um, notice your peristaltic movement. For example, if you have just eaten your lunch, for example, and then your stomach will start to digest your lunch, right? The food that you have eaten, okay? Um, it will undergo or your stomach will have the movement called the peristalsis in order for your food to be digested. And you cannot notice it unless you really observe it in a quiet environment, right? Okay. Not subject to voluntary control. You cannot control it. You cannot tell your stomach that, oops, don't digest it yet. I'm not done eating, right? So you can tell your stomach to do that, okay? But unlike your skeletal muscle tissue, which is voluntary or the control is voluntary, meaning to say you can move your hand up and down. You can step your left, lower limb or your left leg to the front or backwards or forward or backward right okay so i think that's it for now for the muscle tissue so i hope you have learned something from this video and i will see you guys soon in our google meeting lecture okay thank you for subscribing thank you for um watching this video and i hope you learned something bye bye guys see you